My name is Brooklyn Sugar, and this is why I love Capitol Hill and the people in it. I mean, Capitol Hill is nothing if not creative. You see the people that walk through, and everyone is very much an individual. Capitol Hill is completely different than the rest of Seattle because everybody just is artistic, proud of what they do, and they want to share it. Is this your first trip here? Yes. Yeah. Is this a group trip? No. We just met them. We met at a ball last night. Obviously, I got some stuff from Glossier. I got perfume. I got some makeup. Yo, who's paying for all this stuff? Probably you. I got makeup, tint, eyebrow pencil, and some other goodies. We have a favorite bookshop. Well, we're just oh, yeah, No, we love it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And go. We love Biscuit Fish. <laughs> just got this jacket. Oh, from where? <laughs> from, uh, where I don't know. Lifelong thrift store. Can you give me a little? O -T -D. Oh, oh! This is kind of like a melting pot, fucking mix of like a lot of people, so a lot of like creative shit. And it's graffiti everywhere. That that's filthy. You don't see that anywhere else in Seattle. Where do people watch? Um, I mean, usually just walking around. I'm actually headed to Cal Anderson to watch people and their dogs because that is like an instant antidepressant for me. What's cool about Capitol Hill is you never know what you're gonna see on a given day. For example, this guy. What is he doing with his stick? Look at him, he is on a mission. How many days a week do you do this? Uh, three days a week. The teacher left town, he was the only person in Seattle that had a certain style. Just like that. Yeah. It's kind of something that, certain things that they, they just came to my mind. Why the unicorn? Um, I'm just, I've been embracing the unicorn thing. Came out as non-binary and bisexual. Oh, uh, that's dope. Year. It's so much harder when someone's watching. This is just awful. Do you guys meet here every other week? Every Thursday. Every Thursday? Yeah. This is youth group? Yeah. Well, yeah, we were just, you know, hooping up. We good folks in Capitol Hill, so it's not the safest place. I had a crackhead come up on me the other day, and he was like, I like your jersey, you wanna see mine? And I was like, what kind of jersey you got under? And he's like, no, yours. And I was like, what? I was like, this is my jersey. <laughs> so, be careful. My first impression is that it's very trendy. There's thrift shops, restaurants, coffee shops. It's much different from where I'm from in Pennsylvania. I think my first impression was I really like being around all these like really weird people. I'm just as weird and queer as fucking ever. So we have a goddamn superhero walking around Phoenix Jones. New York and Seattle aren't that different. New York is in your face, but everybody's still friendly. Like they just immediately want to be your friend. Whereas in Seattle, you got to kind of work for it. A little more passive aggressive, absolutely. Honest truth or yes. do you want? No, like, I want honest. Honest truth, it's completely whitewashed. It's gentrified. Um, the biggest perk is like we have the gay sidewalks, but aside from that, there's not much going on over here anymore. Yeah. I know a ton of people are leaving. Hopeful, optimistic. Pandemic kind of brought on my obsession with Ivy Park. So I'm literally wearing head to toe Ivy Park. Can you tell me about your outfit, especially your shoes? I just only pretty much wear cowboy boots. I work in a country bar. I really love old 70s suits. Do you have an old 70s suit for every day of the week? No. My bag is Teddy Fresh, it's like a small... I love Teddy Fresh! Love Teddy Fresh, right? Like a vintage Sublime oh, t-shirt. Yeah. Converse, the platforms. Just to give a little bit of context for this video, I'm doing Casey Neistat's monthly class, and one of the assignments was to make a film about something I found really interesting. My favorite part about Capitol Hill is the overwhelming authenticity that every single person brings to the table. Something really special about that in the community. Thanks for watching.